breaking news this morning. Look at the pictures out of Paris. Police out in force at the Orly Airport. And uh, the airport remains closed after a suspect managed to steal a weapon from a soldier guarding the airport. That suspect was shot and killed by security forces. Thousands of passengers forced to evacuate from the city's second largest airport. Pictures show travelers walking on the highway nearby. And it's all happening in a city and a country already under a state of emergency after recent terror attacks. We start here with ABC's Jennifer Eccleston, who's covering the story from our London Bureau. Good morning, Jennifer. Dan and Paula, good morning. A massive police operation is underway this morning after a man grabbed the gun of a soldier on patrol in Paris's Orly International Airport. The assailant then running away from soldiers and hiding in an airport shop. He was shot dead by security forces, but a frantic scene followed with travelers and airport staff fleeing the terminal. It was evacuated by heavily armed police special forces who were on the scene within minutes. They escorted people to safety outside. No one else was injured. But they are warning travelers to stay away from Orly Airport until the police investigation is complete. Flights have been redirected to nearby Charles de Gaulle Airport. There's been no official comment on the suspect, his identity, or possible motive. But police are saying he acted alone. They're also confirming a shooting earlier this morning is linked to the airport incident. A motorist was pulled over and shot a police officer and fled. His identity is known to French intelligence officers. And the Paris prosecutor's office today confirming its anti-terrorism section is now taking over this investigation. Dan and Paula. Already amplifying the nerves of the French. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for that reporting.